welcome back to my channel and for today's video we are doing a denim review recently if you don't follow me on Twitter or snapchat you wouldn't know that I did just recently purchase my very own first pair of page denim and yeah maybe I did buy them because my name's Paige and I think I deserve to have my own line of jeans duh but anyways I did get my own pair of jeans and I decided to gather all my jeans and do an honest jean review for you and honestly I think that there is a wide range of prices for denim and there's a wide range of pros and cons for denim so I decided to take all my jeans and kind of give you the pro price point of all of them and to just tell you what I think. So I don't know where these jeans are. Might be back home or lost somewhere, I'm not sure. But let's just have a small talk about Forever 21 jeans. I own one pair of Forever 21 jeans and I had to buy them in a very big situation where my favorite pair of dark wash jeans had ripped and I had no dark wash jeans. So went to Forever 21 and they literally had them on sale for like $7.90 or like right now they're on promotion for eight bucks. So I decided to get those and honestly, that's really their only good use for is emergencies. First of all, they're like low rise denim. They don't even like get up. They don't suck all the muffin top in. So what good does that do me? And then they are definitely stretchy. However, literally the first day, my kneecaps were already wearing down. And like that's the first tell, -tell, -tell all <laughs> of jeans is that if the kneecap starts rubbing off really bad, bad quality. Those jeans were dyed improperly and not good. And I know this information because I worked at Buckle before, so I know a lot about jeans right now. <laughs> so basically, if like they're not dyed properly, then they will wear very quickly. Um, if you did check my last haul video for back to school, you would see that I did purchase my first pair of Target jeans. And Target jeans, these ones I got are price pointed at $25, and the rest of our jeans, like all of our like other denim, like our classic denim, is priced at $29.99. And that's basically the reason why I never bought jeans was because I thought 30 bucks for Target jeans was way too expensive. But anyways, I did decide to buy my first pair. These are not, in, okay, Target jeans also have different brands. This is the Exhilaration brand where our other denim is Massimo Black. So I decided to go with our Exhilaration brand. These were priced again at $25 and this I think definitely was worth my money. They are super soft and super comfortable and so far they haven't shown like any signs of wear yet. Also thinking about detailing, they have all this stitching going along the pant here and then at the very bottom of the leg they do have a zipper detail. This adds up money and this adds up a lot of labor. So you know if Target was willing to go through and kind of do all this stitching and all this like different patchwork even on like the back pockets they put these little flaps there you know that shows that they're really caring and they're really taking their time to make these jeans. So for 25 bucks that's definitely not bad. Super comfortable and they fit very well on me. So now we're gonna move on to Hollister jeans and Hollister is definitely, for me personally, again, personal opinion, how I feel. I think Hollister for me is definitely very high school, middle school, that is like all I wore for my middle school uniforms was Hollister. So I do still own a pair of Hollister jeans because these are one of my favorite straight denim jeans um these like i said are the straight jeans and these are also destroyed jeans so that's another reason why i like these because these have been one of my favorite destroyed jeans so it has like rips here and rips on the other leg opens up and opens up over here so the only thing that I don't like about these jeans about that when I did get them, 
high rise jeans were not a thing when I was buying Hollister. So when I did decide to get my Hollister jeans, they only came in like low rise, mid rise. So I'm pretty sure these are a low rise denim. So I don't wear these ones that much because I don't like how low they hang. But I would say these jeans are definitely have held up pretty well. Um, especially for them being straight that they're not so constricting the price point on these is $59.95 and so but like I said they do give out a ton of discounts all the time the other thing too I noticed that on a lot of my Hollister jeans the label does start ripping like it does not hold up very well this is not a real leather so something else too um, but yeah, like I said, I have had have had these for a very long time. I will say though that Hollister skinny jeans, the kneecap wears so quick all the time. Every Hollister skinny jean I've had has worn down. So that's why I like these because these aren't constricting. These have no reason to wear down. So yeah, these are good. Next price point, bullhead denim. Do, 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 do. These price points are, they range from $54.50 to $69.70, depending on what you want. Um, you know, whether they're destroyed, straight, skinny, high rise, low rise, whatever you may want. Um, but these are sold at Pack Sun, and these were really like my first. Um, big girl jeans I guess like when I was a senior in high school I finally decided to get bullhead denim and they were a little bit more expensive especially because I was starting to like buy them on my own and I got more bullhead denim as I got into college and I will say these are my favorite jeans so far these are super soft super stretchy and they last such a long time I literally have six pairs I'm not even joking I have six pairs of bullhead denim in a whole bunch of different washes, whole bunch of different styles. These are just amazing all around. I love these. Like, yes, you do have to pay like 60 bucks for these, but it's totally worth it. And you know, at PacSun, they're always giving out deals, like buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one free. They're always having deals, so you can definitely find some good ones. And this is honestly like, I love this indigo wash. Super good. Oh my God, the other thing I should mention, this, does not rub off on clothes feeling blessed this wash never rubs off on clothes never rubs off on purses or anything like that you know if you wear like a satchel and it's like rubbing against it the dye never comes off of these so it's another reason why i really like these super stretchy super comfy i could sleep in these i'm pretty sure i have slept in these bullhead is like good they're awesome all their washes wash awesome next price point jeans are going into the $69.70 up is the BDG brand from Urban Outfitters. These jeans are never alike. <laughs> you may be one size in a boyfriend jean, you're going to be a different size in a skinny jean, and you're going to be a different size in the destroyed jeans. I love BDG jeans because they just give off such a good rocker vibe. I probably own four BDG jeans and I think two of them I actually did buy on sale for like nine bucks. The other two I did buy full price. So, you know, these ones are a black skinny destroyed. So I'm like a different size in these as my other ones. So, but I do like the rip jean I don't know how much of this you could see but the rip jean there and it's actually destroyed at the bottom too I liked how it's frayed out but the other thing too with these jeans is that they don't give a lot of give to them they are not that stretchy at all so when you do buy these you definitely want to try them on and you definitely want to find your exact size because these will not give any stretch to your thunder thighs like mine nothing we're going to move up to my next price point which is 90 to 100 dollars and we're gonna start with banana republic i um did find a pair of boyfriend jeans for my actual size which is awesome and 
Like I said, these are just the boyfriend jeans and I love the wash that these come in. And they are slightly destroyed. Not like immensely, but you know, you can tell like on the little pocket there and over on the side. And I just really like the wash of these jeans. I think this is just like a classic jean color. And of course at the bottom they do crop up. The retail price for these is $98. So yes, we are getting a little bit pricier. However, all of Banana Republic is pretty up there in the price. So, but I will say overall, the jean is super comfortable, super soft. I hate when jeans are so hard and like crunchy feeling. Blech, I hate it, hate it. Overall, I just think these are like super good jeans. Like I think it's definitely worth the money and Banana Republic's always having deals. So, you know, but yeah, these boyfriends, mm, I'll be sleeping in my boyfriends. Next range. We are, of course, going to move on to Calvin Klein denim. And I own two Calvin Klein denims, this being one of my favorite pairs. Um, their jeans, also another like sizing issue. Um, I do have to go up one size in these jeans and then get a shorter length than normal really weird I don't know but these retailed for these retailed at Macy's for $99.99 so pretty up there in price um, however I will say Calvin Klein has a whole Calvin Klein jean line they truly love their jeans they are not lying but um I will say Calvin Klein like you, the sizes are definitely a little eh. I have both the pairs I have are in skinnies. Let me see what these are. Oh, these are ultimate skinny. But I'm pretty sure the other ones are just like normal skinnies. And I did have to do the same thing. I had to go up in a size but down in length. So, not sure if other people are like that. However, I really, really, really love these jeans because I just love the color of these. Like, this is a nice washed out gray color and I think this just like goes with so much you know you have your charcoals and your regular grays but I think I just love this like light wash gray color the wash is awesome um, they do have quite a bit of stretch too so if you got a little bit more loving down there like I do girl they got you covered but they also do have the little leather emblem on the side there and this has not cracked um, so you do know that this is a real leather band and you can bend it and everything and it's not going to crack so that's awesome. Last but not least, Paige. These are now the most expensive jeans that I do own and they are white and they are beautiful and these are my babies. These retail price, mother don't kill me. <laughs> $189, woo! So yes, these are my most expensive pairs of jeans. Yes, I only own one pair of Paige denim. These are incredibly expensive. These are, again, personally for me, I think they're worth it. I think they're definitely worth the money. These are really good quality denim and again, super soft. You don't get that crunchy feeling from these jeans at all. Um, sizing wise, I did have to go up one size in these for the skinnies. Um, I think the other size down, like my normal size, it did fit. However, I just liked the length and the comfort of these ones. So that's why I went ahead with these ones. and. I think all in all, like, if you have the money and you care about denim, you should definitely like splurge on a pair of expensive jeans. My only thing is that, you know, I'm not gonna throw out all my jeans and be like, I'm just gonna get the luxury pairs of jeans. No, like, I definitely stand true to Urban Outfitters jeans. I stand true to. I'm trying to preach over here and like, what? And those are all a quarter of the price of these. 
Bullhead denim is a quarter of the price of these and I have stood by them for such a long time. So I definitely think all my denim is like definitely where it needs to be and I just you know really wanted to splurge on it and I think honestly like I was never gonna know what expensive denim was like until you actually buy it and you actually feel it on you. These things fit like a glove. There's no parts where you know they're bunched up than the others. You know how it bunches up behind your kneecap. I don't get that with these where like I do with other jeans. These are just super soft, super nice. I love these. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and comment below what your favorite pair of jeans are if you did. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. All links will be down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!